Sorry. Hey, le moins encore. I can't give credit. Come back when you're a little mm, richer. This is how you can pretty passively make millions of rubles every week by just using your hideout. Before we start, all the numbers in this video were based on 7 day averages taken on February 23rd and 24th, so the numbers you may be seeing on the flea market at the time of watching this video may be very different. Before you commit to any of these crafts, I recommend doing a quick check to make sure they are still profitable. You can use this formula to do it. Also, all profits are going to be gross, meaning before the flea market fee, because there is no way to calculate that. We'll start with the workshop. The number one trade that's going to make you money is the hawk gunpowder trade. It only requires workbench level one, and one blue gunpowder, one green gunpowder, and one pack of classic matches. It's got a pretty low crafting time at 35 minutes, and makes you about 31,000 in gross profits per craft. The reason why hawk gunpowder is so valuable is because it's used for several barters and craft. Trading hawk gunpowder every 35 minutes can make you about 155,000 every 3 hours, 311 every 6 hours, and 622,000 every 12 hours. The next trade we have is the VOG25. This trade requires 5 fuses and 5 40mm VOG25s, and in return you get 8 VOG25s that sell for 25,000 each. This is a workbench level 1 craft, and is the second best trade you can make in your hideout. It's got a high gross profit per craft at about 55,000, and it takes longer than the hawk craft at around 66 minutes. This can be seen as a good and bad thing. It's good because you won't have to log on as much, only every 66 minutes, but it's bad because you're going to make slightly less than what you make on the Hawk Gunpowder. Taking a look at the profits, you can make about 110,000 every 3 hours, 275,000 every 6 hours, and 550,000 every 12 hours. For the third trade, we actually have two trades, and they're both relating to the printed circuit boards. There are actually two circuit board trades that can make you fantastic money right now, and both yield good gross profits and a low crafting time. Also, both trades are workbench level 1, which works out for newer players. Circuit boards are likely going to keep going up in cost, since there's a graphics card craft in the hideout that requires 8 of these. Currently, even though circuit boards average at 35000 over the last 7 days, when I logged on I noticed their price was actually around 50000 The first trade requires one flat screwdriver and one DVD. It only takes about 33 minutes to craft, but you have a gross profit of around 23000 per craft. You can get about 116000 per 3 hours, 232000 per 6 hours, and 488000 per 12 hours. Then, the other trade takes slightly longer, but is cheaper to make. The second trade requires one red screwdriver and one gas analyzer. You get around 31,000 in gross profits as opposed to the 23,000 you get from the previous trade, but it takes slightly less effort at 48 minutes. From the second circuit board trade, you can make 93,000 per 3 hours, 217,000 per 6 hours, and 464,000 per 12 hours. The reason I even include this is because although you make slightly less money, when the other trade gets more expensive, you can rely on this one to still do the circuit board trading and make great money. The number one trade in the lavatory is the rib stop. It's another trade that only requires lavatory level 1, and 3 scavis, which you should buy from Jaeger for the cheapest and most consistent price. Rib stops are primarily used for barter, for both the Ars Arma barter, and numerous other crafts like the Raid Backpack. The gross profit per craft is pretty low at around 14,000, but since it has a low crafting time, you can repeat it often, which leads to that big money. The crafting time is around 36 minutes, by the way. From this trade, you can make around 69,000 per 3 hours, 139,000 per 6 hours, and 277,000 per 12 hours. Scavis stays pretty cheap, so unless the price of rib stops plummet, this should be around for a while. The second trade is the Ox Bleach. This is the second most profitable trade for the lavatory, but it can also be pretty time consuming since you'll have to do this one over and over again. This one will also require lavatory level 2, and 1 soap, 1 alkali, and 1 sodium. The gross profit is 11,000 per craft, but you can do it every 38 minutes. The Ox Bleach is primarily used for a couple of high-end barters focused towards endgame gear. Crafting and trading Ox Bleach can make you around 44,000 per 3 hours, 100,000 per 6 hours and 200,000 per 12 hours. Moving on to the next trade, we have polyamide. Polyamide is a lavatory level 1 trade, and the craft is you give 4 tech bags and in exchange you get 1 polyamide. Polyamide runs for about 20,000 each. If you want the most profits and the best pricing, you should buy your tech bags from Ragman. It's about a 48 minute craft time, so it's slightly less effort than the other two options, and it has a gross profit of around 12,000 per craft. Polyamide, similar to the other fabrics, is used for great trades for high tier armor, focused towards richer players. You can make around 36,000 for 3 hours, 84,000 for 6 hours, and 180,000 for 12 hours. Well, let's move over to the medical unit now for the one and only trade that makes money there. The Blue Stims, aka the Combat Stimulant Injector SJ6TG Labs. This trade is one pinkish combat stim, two meds piles, and one saline solution for two of these Blue Stims. Each can be sold for around 65,000 each, and right now it makes about 17,000 in gross profit per craft, and takes about 85 minutes per craft. It's a 
stamina enhancing stim and are focused towards the rich Tarkov players that are running labs and really need that extra boost in stamina. This one can make about 34,000 per 3 hours, 68,000 per 6 hours, and 137,000 per 12 hours. I don't know how long this one's going to last since med piles and SJ1s are going up in price and blue stims are coming down, but where it stands now it can make money. It is a med station level 3 craft though so you will need max medical unit to get this one. Quickly stopping by the nutrition unit, there's nothing here that's going to make you money. Unfortunately all the materials needed for these crafts are way too expensive. Let's head over to the intelligence center now and take a look at the trades that can make you money here. All of the intelligence center trades will require intelligence center level 2. Currently the most profitable one is the 11SR keycard which is selling for around 2.6 million right now. The gross profit of this craft is 703,000 and it's completed every 65 hours and 33 minutes. Basically you can do this one twice a week. It's good, but considering it isn't used for anything, you could be looking at completely different prices in three days when the trade is complete, and you might have to sell for a lot less, or hold on to something you don't really want. The second most profitable trade makes you slightly less, but I still think it's the better one. This graphics card craft requires eight circuit boards, four CPUs, two CPU fans, and one VPX. It has a gross profit of around 577,000, and completes every 69 hours and 10 minutes. This is great, and the prices seem to keep going up because it's used for the Bitcoin farm. Also, if there's a terrible drop and GPU prices, you can at least use this for your own Bitcoin farm if you don't sell it. But let's move on to the final one. Vertex. Vertex is sold for about 453,000 right now, and this specific craft can make you around 244,000 in gross profit, and it completes every 37 hours and 36 minutes. It does make money, but it isn't really used for much, so if the value plummets, you're at a loss, unlike graphics card. If you take the most profitable craft from each station and use it daily, these will be the results. Daily, 3 hours of effort can make you 258,000, 6 hours will make you 518,000, and 12 hours, although I wouldn't recommend it, will make you 1 million. And, and every three days you will get a bonus from your intelligence center of 577,000 if you choose the graphics card, which I recommend. This means that in one week, assuming you play daily, this can make you 2.9 million for three hours of effort, 4.8 million for six hours of effort, and 8.4 million for 12 hours of effort. I hope these crafts and trades can help you pull in tons of extra money. They did for me, but unfortunately I have a bad scab case habit that never seems to go my way. If this video did help you make some money in Tarkov, be sure to leave a thumbs up and check out our Tarkov playlist for more videos. Thanks for watching.